Could we land on Oumuamua? I've recently published a short about the mission concept to send a probe after Oumuamua, which could potentially catch up with it in about 20 to 30 years' time. And the most frequent comment on this short was, okay, so we can get there, but could we land on it too? To land, you would have to get the relative speed of the probe down to almost zero, so that it could eventually anchor itself to Oumuamua. And the entire landing process wouldn't even be that big of a deal, but the braking maneuver would be. Considering the kinetic energy you would have to lose, and putting that into the rocket equation, you can calculate the mass of rocket fuel necessary for this maneuver. Unfortunately, this gives you an absurd number of roughly 1,500 times the mass of the probe in fuel. So, regular chemical rockets are definitely not an option. There are two other options though that are a bit more experimental. First, there is electric propulsion, ion thrusters or hall thrusters. This works by ionizing a gas and then using an electric field to expel those ions, which creates a push on the craft. This is a tried and tested technology at this point and has already been implemented in real life space missions. The second possibility is a bit more exotic electric or magnetic sails. The basic idea is that you create large-scale electric or magnetic fields and use the solar wind, a continuous flow of charged particles from the sun. With a sail you can only indirectly break by using it to change the course of the craft. It will then be forced into a different orbit by gravity and in total its speed component away from the sun is reduced. This is still an experimental technology that was supposed to be tested with this little guy but unfortunately it couldn't be due to mechanical failure. Both methods can only produce a minimal braking force, so the braking maneuver would have to last years, not minutes, which would add at least another decade to the entire mission. But I think the interesting fact here is that we could almost pull off such a mission already, even though the sails certainly need more development and more testing. Subscribe for more awesome physics.